it's early on Thursday oh the 4th of November and we're getting on our way I've got to get my mallet so I can get these pins out um, oh excuse me yeah not a rush this morning but we were all up very early the first thing this morning as we have a four to five hour cruise today I've got my revs on because uh, I've got my washing machine on I'm doing a load of washing yeah possibly about uh, four five hour cruise today uh, we're on our way through the industrial part of the Bridgewater Canal we're going through sail and hoping to moor perhaps just the other side of Worsley uh, in Manchester of course where the Bridgewater was born What a fantastic mooring this was last night with the campfire. Just under that tree. A great night. And there's Hilary. She's heading home today, unfortunately. She's leaving the party today. Lovely to cruise with her. And we'll see her again in a few weeks' time. We're now heading to the industrial part of the Bridgewater Canal and for a part of me is actually looking forward to seeing it. It'll be nice, let's be honest, that's why the canals were built for industry and not for pleasure and you have to remember that. Yeah, let's have a look, we'll explore together. You'll notice on the bridge water there's lots of those little hoists to put the stop planks in if they need to close it down. Lots of them. Normally under bridges, obviously the narrowest part of the canals. Uh, yeah, interesting. It's like being on totally different waterways. Look at this set of apartments here, designed to look like ships. It's like having a cruise ship next to you. Look at those. Now they're impressive. I dread to think how much they would cost. Wow.
They're very impressive as you cruise past. You'd swear blind they were cruise ships. Wonderful. I do like recommending other channels and I've recently been watching a fantastic guy who is at present cruising with his son. It's Narrowboat Will. I will leave uh, a link in the description below but check out his channel. He's recently been cruising these waters and he does give a very uh, different perspective, let's just say that, on narrowboating. He's a liverboard, he sold everything to live on his narrowboat. Uh, yeah, very similar circumstances and he seems like a great chap so check his channel out and, and have a look yeah all good we're cruising down what's commonly known as the Sail Strait. I believe it's about three miles, just short of three miles. Perfectly straight, perfectly boring waterways. Because these waters are so straight, they get a lot of canoeists here and a lot of races and rowing boats uh, and there are markers on the side of the canal to, to aid them so they know how far that they're actually going yeah This stretch of water is very, very popular. Well, a towpath is as well, with canoeists, ramblers, cyclists, uh, electric skateboards and all sorts whizzing up and down here. Very, very busy. People everywhere. So far the Duke's cut is uh, intriguing. You see all sorts. It, it is very, very different and I'm enjoying it. 
very nice. And we are just going over the River Mersey Aqueduct. The estuary there for the River Mersey is running below us. We're about to pull into a place called Stretford Marine. Uh, we all need different facilities there. Uh, I just want to top up with fuel really and top up with water. So we're all going to make use of it. I think only two boats can moor up at a time. So uh, obviously we'll all have to queue. But uh, I'm very cold. I'm looking forward to stretching my legs a little bit. So uh, it'll be a welcome break. So just got fuel and everything just there at uh, Stretford Marine. Very, very friendly staff, excellent. Yeah, unfortunately, I needed a lot of fuel. So you may be able to see in the distance there, we're coming to a fork in the waterway. This is a place called Waters Meeting. Just sounding my horn. Uh, when you go left, as indeed we are, we're heading up towards Lee. And if you were to take the right-hand turn, that would take you to the centre of Manchester and Salford Keys. very strong smell of breakfast cereal is in the air. It's actually quite pleasant for a little bit. I would imagine it would get on your nerves after a while, but we're just going past a very lar large Kellogg's building, the Kellogg's factory here in Trafford Park. When we turned left there at Waters Meeting, we are on part of the original Bridgewater Canal, which was used to carry the coal from the mines in Worsley. So the history that this canal could tell would be tremendous. Obviously, it's, clo it's uh, changed a lot over the years. Obviously, modernisation and new industry uh, throughout the years has changed it somewhat, but uh, it's nice to use your imagination. Just to the left here, you can't actually see it through the trees, but trust me, 
it's there it's the Trafford Centre the very large shopping area there just off the M60 a place I've visited loads of times and this is the area where you would moor if you wanted to go shopping there not today and there it is And there it was. We are very quickly approaching the Barton Swing Aqueduct, another wonder of the waterway. So it's another one to tick off my list. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Just approaching the aqueduct, you can see the large crane there and the stop plank, a very large piece there, that they would actually lower in when they swing this aqueduct open for the large ships that go up and down the Manchester Ship Canal. Just approaching the uh, swing aqueduct now. How amazing is this? And there below, you can see the Manchester Ship Canal running into Manchester. Wow, this feels so surreal. <laughs> Weird. How amazing! <laughs>